All right, this is Supplement 2B for Math 99, and we have already talked about what uh, different pieces of, of some transformations will do. So we've talked about um, ways to, sorry, we've talked about ways to move it left, right, and we've talked about ways to move it up, down. We've also talked about if, it, if it's uh, flipped over the uh, y -ax, x axis or not. So now what I want to do is I don't want to add one more thing to it. We could put up some multipliers out here, like if I multiplied by 3. So let's uh, check out Desmos. And I'll just look at this uh, parent function y equals x squared. So what if I go y equals uh, 3x squared? Notice what's going to happen is I'm multiplying all these y values by 3. So 0 is going to stay at 0. But for example, uh, this point that's at one will now be up at three. This point that's negative one will be up by three. So what I'm doing is I'm stretching it up in this direction. So whereas my parent function goes over one, up one, over one, up three. Notice my scale here is one half, so that distance is one. Um, my parent function does that. My modified function of it, my transformation goes over one, up three instead of plus one. This one goes plus three. And see how this one's plus three? This one will go over one, three times three, uh, up nine. So all that this multiplier out here does is it changes the growth, it makes it grow faster. Or if it's a fraction, let's say that instead of uh, y equals three x, it was y equals one half x, you can see that it makes it grow slower. Now instead of going over one up one, this is going over one up a half. So um, that multiplier out front, that's, that's what, it, what it does, uh, which is hopefully makes sense. Um, so now I have this multiplier out here, and I'm going to call this a uh, stretch, the vertical stretch. So for example, if I had uh, three absolute value of x minus two, uh, plus 4. So a couple things that I know. I know that absolute value is my parent function. So that's this V shape. I know that typically this goes over 1 up 1 over 1 up 1 over 1 up 1. Uh, this means that now I'm going to have a vertex at 2 4. That was all from last time. But now instead of going over 1 up 1, it's going to be steeper. It's going to go over one, up three. So there's a rough sketch <laughs> of what that would look like. But again, that multiplier just stretches it in this direction. It affects the y values. Um, and let's take a peek at a, at a different shape. So uh, there's my function. That's going to be my, my f. So let me bring something else. So notice I could uh, I could write this out as just a, a collection of points, right? Like when x is negative three, y is one, x is negative two, y is zero, etc. So this is my function f. So um, I'm going to do some transformations on this thing, and let me think. Like, what if I went g is a new function? It is. Uh, f of x plus 8. So notice what that would do is that's a shift to the left 8 units. So it's going to take this whole shape and it's going to move everything 8 this way. So this negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, gets shifted back to here. This gets shifted to here. This 1 gets back shifted back to negative 7. This 4 gets shifted back to negative 4. Again, I'm just subtracting 8 from everything. So that's what G would look like if uh, if I did that. Notice in my in my points in my graph, what I would do is I would just subtract eight from each of those x values. Remember, this whole thing is is f of x. There it is as a table. There it is as a graph. So G of x is going to be um, f of x minus three. So notice what that would do is that would just move the whole thing down three. I would subtract three. Right, down three. So I would uh, be down three. So I would subtract three from each of the y values. On the graph, I would just move this down three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. 
three. One, two, three. Same shape, shifted down. All right, one more, one more example. All right, so now in this one, uh, g of x is going to equal two times f of x minus four. So notice what I'm doing now is this two, I'm stretching it in this direction by two, and then I'm moving it down four. So I'm multiplying all of these y values by two. So that would be two, zero, six, negative six, negative five. And then I'm moving it down four. So then subtract four from each of them, negative two, negative four, two, uh, negative 10, negative nine. So again, what I'm doing is I'm stretching it and then moving it down. So I'm gonna do those one at a time. Uh, and I'm gonna do the stretch first on the graph. So the stretch first, means the x's don't change, but the y's double. So that gets twice as far away. That stays where it's at. That moves all the way up to six, right? The y's changing, the x's staying the same. This negative three goes down to negative six. This negative 2.5 gets doubled down to negative five. So that that I sketched right there is just it with the uh, times two. And then now I move it down four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this one right here is my actual uh, my actual graph. So this is it right here. Notice it's been doubled, stretched by two in this direction, and then moved down four. I'm going to do one more. And on this one, um, if you'll notice, I'm multiplying by a negative 2. So this is going to flip it and stretch it. This part will move it right 3. <clears throat> and this part will move it up 4. Excuse me. So let's think about what each of these pieces would do. And we'll graph it. So this stretch, this negative 2, it's going to take all these y values and um, multiply them by negative 2. Right, double them and then and then flip them. So this one becomes a negative two, zero stays at zero. Three becomes negative six. Negative three becomes positive six. Negative 2.5 becomes positive five. And then it gets moved up four. So we add four to all these. So two, um, whoops, not two, four. I'll to write what I'm doing. Plus four. One, 10, and nine. Great, and the x values, notice it gets right three, so I'm gonna add three to all these x values. So zero, one, four, seven, eight. So I end up with these x values and these y values. So again, it's flipped, and then it's shifted to the right four, and it's moved down two. So this point that was here ends up uh, here, This point that was here becomes one four. This point that was at uh, no, it doesn't. It becomes zero four. Hang on, negative two. Uh, oh yeah, it does. Sorry, one four. Uh, this point becomes four one. Uh, this point becomes six and ten. So it's way up here somewhere. And then at uh, this point, 5, 9 becomes, uh, oh, shoot, I'm doing it wrong, sorry. Um, this point becomes 7, 10. And then this next point becomes 8, 9, something like that. So this should look then like that. I know that's, that's kind of messy, but hopefully you can get at that idea of what we did, those transformations, um, do them off the table and then translate them to the graph. Or if you can just visualize it in the graph, you could do it that way as well. Uh, give the problems in the set a try. Send me any questions that you have.